Hey guys, Nina here, welcoming you to another reading from the Ladies of Horror Picture Prompt Monthly Challenge, hosted by Elaine Pascal on her channel, The Godmother of Horror. If you'd like to read along or read previously published pieces, please visit spreadingtherightersword.com or ladiesofhorror.com. In the meanwhile, enjoy the reading. I'm Your Baby Tonight by Kendra Smart. You could smell the room long before entering it. Lilac, lavender, myrrh, individual and yet merged, growing thicker and more potent the closer one got to the chamber. It crept into the body. With each inhale, the ratio of the air changed. The room was dark and yet illuminated enough to see. The exchange was not so harsh a transition on the eyes, but they certainly would widen, taken in the sparsely furnished, yet heavily, elegantly decorated ceremonial chamber. Chains held bolted to the smooth rock ceiling swayed softly and slowly, their internal flames illuminating the molten gold that had been used to fill the chain-link armor so that the chinks would not lose the precious oils within the vessels. The low flame ebbed and flowed gently, shadows dancing along the cavern walls. The goddess waited patiently, setting the ambiance for her nourishing worship. She was made up in her most amorous finery, the colors that offset her skin. She awaited the chosen one from her most holy devoted brethren. The light flickered and sent its shadows to play along her toasted almond skin, which looked all the more inviting against the royal purple bedding. She had worked hard to create the most welcoming environment for her devotee. There had been many willing to provide her nourishment this year. Her loyal brethren had noticed her power weakening and knew she had overextended her part of harvest but her people deserved the best for what their deal was. They had never let her down in over a thousand years. Her selection had won her over with the genuine wonderment and love she had shown in her eyes. With that raw emotion, it was hard to hide her truth. The goddess had been enchanted instantly. The woman arrived, walking eagerly to her, clad only in the barest whisper of cloth. Her smile was received with one echoing the eagerness. The goddess would show this devotee her more honest side. The gift she so earnestly gave deserved nothing less. Her sacrifice would bring decades of prosperity, of peace, culture. Her people with no calm and would want for nothing. Genuine love would provide genuine good. This sacrifice would know ultimate pleasure before the dawn. The goddess would provide equivalent exchange, a most nourishing feast. Her fangs ached with longing as the fragranced air became enhanced with their sense individual and mingled. Copper tinged the air, but the devotee knew no pain as the blood poured freely. Only warmth, enveloped in differing layers of wonderful, soothing, comforting warmth. The goddess was fulfilled. <laughs> 